Hello, welcome to another Eagle 6 test video. Uh, we're going to be testing a uh, customer's um, Token Marie G Spec uh, in the OD colour, which is a very nice colour. Um, and uh, we've done the, uh, we've sort of revised our packages a little bit, so um, just uh, we feel like they, um, trying to copy the AEG one didn't work too well, that sort of level format. Uh, but so we're going to still keep to that, but um, uh, we're just moving uh, it around a bit effectively. Um, so we're, the level one on this particular build um, is the um, uh, Lalax Zero Trigger system. A um, little bit expensive, but my reasoning for fitting that is just the main problem with the, v the TM ones is that the sears um, go once you put that bigger spring in there. So we can't just do the, the spring upgrade like we do on the, on the AEGs with these because it just, um, like I say, we can send it out, but it's just going to fail. So um, uh, after, in my opinion, a very short period of time and stuff. And, and I know we have to obviously offer the tiers of packages, you know, but um, it just doesn't work if you're not going to have a reliability. So why even offer it, you know? So um, we just never thought, to be honest, somebody would just order just a spring. But obviously you guys don't know, you know? So, so we do have to cater the packages a little bit towards, you know, like this is the best thing for you, you know, to do. So obviously we, we are going to prove that the zero trigger straight to that level one, um, just because um, uh, it just gives you that huge strength, uh, uh, you know, from the upgraded uh, uh, the sear, you know, and going to 90 degree as well. And um, uh, it's just, just better all around if not, I mean, for, uh, for, for having that uh, uh, zero trigger. And uh, and also just, a, you know, a smoother cock we find as well, just from the ALX one. And um, uh, just overall, you know, just a nicer trigger pull. So. Um, uh, so we're going to combine that zero trigger with the SP150 on this one, uh, or we have done, and um, and that's going to be our new level one, um, and then our level two, uh, which is the customer's gone for on this one. So uh, uh, effectively, a level two package uh, is the uh, Eagle Six um, hop arm. So which is just a, a essentially just a very similar hop arm, slightly different shape to it. So it's just a, a flatter instead of having the the V shape. Um, just for a bit more consistency with the various different aftermarket hot rubbers and uh, and also uh, it goes slightly deeper on its angle so it would just push down a bit more for every every given movement because um, uh, obviously these were designed 20 odd years ago by TM uh, and uh, you know back then there wasn't any ammo above 28 so they never, there was never even any thought for them uh, and we all know as well that you can't have a hop unit which would go all the way from 0 0.2 all the way up to 5 you know it just doesn't happen you have to you have to pick a range of ammo and obviously most snipers aren't using twos so so obviously the concept of that arm is to just move the range uh, slightly up a bit so that you can sort of use that three twos up to you know fives so um, uh, but uh, obviously we've been done our testing on four threes uh, and it got um, uh, so on the 150 spring uh, just otherwise stock build uh, combined with obviously that uh, uh, Lalax Zero Trigger set and uh, uh, the PSS one and uh, the Eagle Six Up Arm and we found that um, uh, on four threes we're getting 335 which is you know like I say just just under that limit which is great result um, obviously most snipers sort of dream about getting to that sort of just under the 500, 500 mark and, uh, and obviously about 470 on twos so there's a slight jaw creep in the up direction for going with the, uh, the heavier ammo there so uh, but um, uh, obviously every every gun tests differently. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so um, so FPS results are good. So we're just going to do some quick stress tests now, um, as much as I I'll be willing to do, because uh, obviously it's <laughs> get a bit bored quickly uh, using one of these, uh, uh, just endlessly shooting at a, a blank wall. So um, but uh, uh, I'm going to get some stress testing done and just make sure it holds up, and uh, then we should be good. There's no two ways about it, you know. Once you go with that 150 spring, it's it's tough, you know. So um, uh, it's a hell of a lot stronger than what the original spring is in there. Um, and uh, obviously, when people are sort of deciding to upgrade these things, uh, I don't think they quite take into consideration how how, how heavy it can be to actually cock these things. Uh, so um, uh, obviously, the benefit of going with the extra upgrades on these packages. Um, mainly yeah come around obviously that type of barrel um you know the the the, the cylinder head you know the teflon coated cylinder anything to make it cock um uh, easier and also to try and increase that fps from something other than that spring so obviously if you can then drop down to that 130 it's obviously going to be a lot you know easier to cock um you know uh, um, so so obviously you know easier to shoot so uh, uh, in game uh, less you know concentration to actually think about how you're actually cocking this thing because uh, obviously what you don't want to do is obviously you know just sort of do a casual sort of uh, uh, and then you're obviously then double feeding so um so yeah it's uh but that's the concept there so 
of trying to um, obviously trying to eke out the FPS from something like say other than a spring on these. So. Okay. Cool. Hopefully you enjoy, and um, yeah, and hopefully I explained a little bit more about packages and why you might want to upgrade a VSR.